Hello Hopkinton High School and welcome back to HHS Today. I'm your host, Nick Bradley. Today we'll chat with an international student here at HHS and hear the answers to our five second interview. But first, we have Mr. Bishop in another Minute with the Principal. What's up HHS? I'm Mr. Bishop with a Minute with the Principal. First, a few shout outs from vacation. The Varsity Girls Swimming and Diving Team placed second at the state sectional meet. Girls Varsity Hoops won the Westboro Invitational. And congrats to Division II state champion wrestlers Lucas Kaminsky and Josh Sokol. Also, Izzy Giordano, Taylor Velasquez, Emily Mastriani, and Caitlin Halloran qualified for the 4x400 at the All-State meets and are now qualified for nationals in New York. Overall, an impressive week for Hiller Sports. Another busy week at HHS. After school today in the library, the STEM Club is screening Code Girl, a documentary about teen girls developing apps for an international competition, and all are welcome to attend. Next Tuesday is our science fair. Students have worked tremendously hard and there are amazing projects to come see. So all students and staffs are welcome to come to the library on Tuesday. In juniors, we have decided to move forward with the junior privileges starting Monday, March 14th. So again, if you have a study hall first or last period, you may come in late or leave early if you have permission. The forms are available in the office and you need to meet the eligibility requirements and keep your eyes open for an email from me. Lastly, happy birthday to Miss Winner from our new start program the soft-spoken and shy Mr. Collins, and the doctor of math, Mr. Buffum. That's all for me. Have a great day, be kind to one another, and go Hillers. Thanks, Mr. Bishop. For more Mr. Bishop, here's a photo of him getting his cup of coffee from The Daily Grind, a weekly service from Hopkins High's Coffee Shop. Thanks to HHS Press for sharing the photo with us. This delivery service is for teachers, but who knows, maybe they'll expand one day. <laughs> Coming up, we have our five-second interview. Today's question is, who's your hero? I would say my mom, because she, like, really inspires me to be a good person. Super Genghis Khan, of course. Sidney Pearson. My hero would be my brother. Donald Trump. All right, so who is your hero? I'm my own hero. Probably would have to be Bruce Lee, because now he's, uh, well, he's Bruce Lee. My hero is Mr. DiNicola. Arnold Schwarzenegger. He always had the best voice. And my hero's Barbie girl. I love her. Paul Rudd. My hero is my grandfather. My mom. Malala. Jack is my hero. Adam is my hero. My mom. My hero is my dad because he shows me uh, how to be reasonable and how to solve uh, like my problems in life. I didn't get asked. Maybe next time. My hero is Pablo Picasso. Okay, now we move on to our next segment, an interview with Miriam DeMarchi who stopped by HHS TV to talk about her home country of Italy and the differences and stereotypes she has found here. Thanks for being here, Miriam. So where are you from? I'm from Milan, Italy. And how long are you going to be here for? Uh, for a year, year, until graduation. What's the difference between a school in Hopkinton and your school in Italy? So the difference are a lot, but the main difference is that we don't change class. And so after the lessons are the teachers that change class. And so we remain stuck, not in the same class, but with the same people for five years. Have you encountered any stereotypes in America that you think are wrong? Yeah, first of all, we don't eat pizza and pasta every single day. And when we speak, we don't move our hands like that every sing with every single word. So you mentioned that our Italian dressing in the United States is not genuine Italian dressing. So could you tell us what is Italian dressing? Yeah, it's very simple. Just a little bit of salt, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar, and that's it. Thanks, Mary. That was only a small part of our discussion. See the entire interview, including just how Italian pasta alfredo is, visit our website at hcam.tv slash hhstv. Now, mark your calendars for next Thursday, March 3rd. The library will host a movie night with both The Hunger Games and The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and there will be snacks. Join Ms. Fournier and Ms. Belcher for a fun evening starting at 6.30. Now we come to our regular segment, Have You Seen This? Here's the image from last week. Now I don't know if it was really hard, but we only got one person who correctly identified it as the Hope poster from Madam Weatherlow's room. Okay, the way this works is that out of all the correct answers, we pick a name out of a hat and give them a prize. This time, our first time, we only had one to choose from, so Boston McKibben, stop by the office and pick up your prize. Yeah. Here's this week's photo. Have you seen this? Send us an email at HHSTV and you may be our next winner. That's all we have for you today, Hopkinton High. Stay connected with everything we're up to at our website, hcam.tv slash HHSTV. Let us know how we're doing and what we should be covering. Until next time, I'm Nick Bradley. Study hard out there.